Good morning, Rochester ALC, and welcome to the last episode of C103 News for this year. I'm Sumitra. I'm Sergio. We're kicking it off today with a special segment dedicated to our graduating seniors. The ALC staff all had a little something to share about these seniors that are graduating this year. So listen up, seniors. Let's hear what they have to say. On this last episode of C103 News, we talked to the teachers about their memories and advice to the seniors. Let's see what they have to say. All right, so I just want to say goodbye to all the seniors and good luck. And don't be a stranger. Come back and see us. We're always here for you. I want to say congratulations to all you graduating seniors. You guys worked really hard and you deserve the payoff for all your hard work. But now, don't stop. Your life is just beginning. So keep working hard and take some time to enjoy yourself. Good luck. Dear seniors, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you for the accomplishment of finishing high school. And I want to encourage you that you can do anything as long as you don't give up. It's always important to just keep showing up and I am proud of all of you. Congratulations. Just a quick note to the graduating seniors. It's been a blast working with you guys. Uh, good luck, success in everything you do. Uh, hope you have some good memories here uh, from the ALC. I know personally uh, some of my uh, best friends, uh, even to this day, from a long, long, long time ago, were my high school friends, and I'm sure you'll have those friendships too. Good luck and take care. Congratulations, all you seniors. I'm very proud of you. My advice would be is that you need to make a plan. If you just wander around, don't know what you're going to do, you're going to go nowhere. Make a plan for your life, decide what you want, and then work really hard to achieve your goal. Congratulations to this year's seniors class of 2015. Uh, this is uh, the largest graduating class that we've had here, and it's really proud to see this go on. I started with the high school program at Golden Hill when we only had a few kids making it and now to have almost 50 is quite incredible and I, I'm really proud of how things have happened and, and the way that the seniors have stepped up in this building and helped other people out in the program to grow. Uh, I wish you all luck in the future and come back and see us sometimes. <laughs> it's a special time for me when I get to say goodbye to all my seniors. Uh, it's emotional time for me. I get kind of choked up about it sometimes. Some of these kids I've had for, you know, seven years. They started in Rams and worked their way up. or and Some I've just had for a semester, but I've gotten to know and I really enjoy. So it's a, it's a tough time for staff to say goodbye. And it's a tough time for my seniors to say goodbye, too. Just want them to know that this is still their home. You're always welcome to come back. After you graduate, you're still a part of our family. And... Uh, if there's anything we can do to help you in the future, you know, we're always there to help. So it's exciting time um, for, for everybody here. So keep up the good work, finish strong, and uh, we'll all be happy on the day that you get to get that diploma. So have a good one, and we'll see you soon. Welcome to another version of Z60. No, wait. This isn't Z60, is it? No. <laughs> June 4th is one of the most special days that we have here at the ALC each year because it's a day that we celebrate our seniors that are going to be graduating. The whole purpose for the ALC is to help kids graduate and be the best citizens that they can be. So we're going to celebrate that day um, and we're really looking forward to it and can't wait for it. And what we're really excited about is to hear from the seniors, them share a little bit of their journey with all of us. So June 4th will be a special day. Very much looking forward to it. It's kind of what makes this whole thing worth it. Thanks. Hello, seniors. Soon to be graduates from the Rochester Area Learning Center. Congratulations. Thoughts? This is what I'm going to tell you. I love phrases because they do have meaning, such as, it's about attitude. Make a decision about your own life whether it's gonna be a positive or a negative. You determine the outcome. It's all about how we process things. Along the second, I would tell you, 
speak from your heart and it will serve you well. I'm very proud of you as graduates. I will celebrate with you on Thursday, June 4th. Have a good life. Be mindful, take care of people around you, and be happy. Hi, I'm Mrs. Barnage, and I would like to say congratulations to all the seniors. Best of luck to you. It's been so much fun having you in class, and I hope to see you around the community. Hey, seniors, congratulations. I know um, I haven't been here long, but I've gotten to know a lot of you, and I just wanted to say good luck. Hopefully, um, you're ready. The world's coming. Have fun. Enjoy it. You've got so much potential. You can be anything you want to be out there. Good luck. I want to say congrats to all the seniors. Uh, enjoy graduation uh, and the summer. And then when the summer's over, make sure you start training for your future career so you can have a job and a career that you enjoy. This senior class actually holds a kind of a special place in my heart because when you guys were 10th graders, uh, you were my first English class that I had when I started working at the Golden Hill Building. And so a lot of you, there's a, there's a core group of you that I've had as 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. And so I feel like of all the classes I've gotten to teach, I kind of know your group the best because I've had you so many times. And so thinking about you guys not being here next year is actually kind of sad. So. Good luck to all of you. I hope you come back and visit us, and I'm sure you all will do amazing things. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the seniors on all the hard work and everything that they've accomplished over their lifetime of school over the years. Um, just want to just say heads up on being true to yourself, I think, is the most important thing. Believe in yourself, and those days where you feel like you just can't do it anymore, keep working towards it. You'll get, you'll get, your, you'll get to your goal. For me, the biggest thing about this senior group is this is the last group that I would have had for the last six years. So I had them when they were in, in Rams. And I don't work with Rams anymore, so this is really important to me. This is, this is a group that I've seen for six years, highs, lows, everything else, and I just wish them all the luck in the world. Congratulations, seniors. Stay positive. Hey seniors, congratulations. Really happy for you. Big accomplishment. I know for many of you, you uh, might be the first person in your family to do this. So that's a huge deal and I'm really proud of everybody. So congratulations. Okay seniors, as you go off on your journey in life, remember to follow your heart. And Miss Lois always says that too. If you have a dream or if you have a passion, something that you feel strongly about, follow that and go for that even if other people say no or they say oh you can't do that or that won't work you need to just follow your dreams and I've seen some of you guys do that here and it's been awesome to see your creations in the art room and see that all the things you've um, cr you know um, accomplished this year I'm so proud of all of you and I believe in you 100 percent Thank teachers for all that great advice. Congrats to my class of 2015. And shout out to 2016 class. See you next year. Well, congratulations class of 2015. But let's not forget about the class of 2016 seniors next year. Graduation is coming up and the school year is almost at the end, which means summer is around the corner. Summer is definitely getting closer and closer and Rochester has lots of activities we all can do during the summer. Let's find out what is all planned. So for those of you thinking, what am I going to do this summer, we have a few suggestions. Your summer doesn't have to be boring, and we'll show you how. The Olmsted County Fair is July 27th through August 3rd. If you love rides, come and see the fair. Tickets are $21 for a band. Go to the website for more information, www.olmsteadcountyfair.com. As you know, Thursdays on First is coming up. It's every Thursday, June 4th through August 27th. It's 11 a.m. through 8.30 p.m. There's going to be various vendors, food, knickknacks, music, and fun, and many more things. As you know, Rochester Fest is coming up. It's June 20th through the 28th. 
There's going to be a treasure hunt with a thousand dollar prize if you find the gold medallion. You could also fly in World War II plane June 20th, which is at the Rochester Airport. And you could also go to a community concert at the Mayo Civic Center. The season is arriving for the Down by the Riverside concert. There's going to be blues, rock, country, and indie pop, and many more. Check out the website for more information www.riversideconcerts.com If you like running, be sure to sign up for the Insane Inflatable 5K. They are running out of entry passes, and the earlier the cheaper. It's on June 13th. Check out insaneinflatable5k.com slash Rochester, Minnesota for more information. We hope you have a fun summer, and don't get too crazy, though. That's a lot of great ideas for all of us to do this summer. I will have to check some out. Speaking of summer, a lot of us have summer plans and vacations that are going on. I'm planning on going to Ma America and Valley Fair. Let's hear what el everyone else is planning on to do in the summer. Hey, what's up? Summer's just around the corner. I'm sure everyone has exciting plans for the summer. Here's a few students on what they're going to do. Hi, today I'm here with Mr. Echo Camp and I'm going to ask him about his summer plans. So are you going on a trip this summer? Yes, I am. I get to go to Michigan. I actually get to go to Missouri first. I have a cousin who got married, and they're having a big reception. Get to go see a whole bunch of cousins, like 20 of my cousins. And then we go to Michigan for the rest of the two weeks that we're going to be gone. And part of that, my wife and I are actually have our 10-year anniversary during wow. that wedding anniversary. So we're going to go to an amusement park called Cedar Point. Some of you might know what that is. It's the mother of all uh, amusement parks. They got lots of roller coasters. It's a lot of fun. Then we're gonna go catch my uh, Detroit Tigers play a baseball game, mm. um, and uh, sit really close to the field. Make a big deal about it because you know I'm I'm from Michigan. I like my my Detroit teams. So overall, how long will you be gone? Two weeks. Two weeks and a couple days extra. You know, a Friday to like the Sunday after two weeks is up. So. Good long time, you know. I'll miss this place, but uh, miss Minnesota for a little bit, you know. And who are you going with? Got uh, my wife and my uh, three-year-old boy, Tyler. Okay, sounds fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. What's up? We're here with my boy Choke, and he's going to explain what he's going to do this summer. Hey, what up? All right. <laughs> this summer I plan on going to Seattle with a few buddies of mine, and I'm going to Boston for an international science conference. A.K. Hi, today I'm here with Kaylee, and I'm going to talk to her about her summer plans. So are you doing anything fun this summer? I'm going to Valley Fair. Fun. Who are you going with? My family, probably some friends. It'll be lots of fun. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, I hope everyone has a great summer. I know I will. Sounds like everyone is going to be very busy this summer and having lots of fun. Before we sign off for the last time, let's take a step back and recap this amazing year. June 5th is coming up pretty fast. It's crazy how fast the school year has gone by. Through all the ups and downs, this school year has been a pretty good one. Let's see what a few of our students have to say about their highlights of the year. What up, it's Kevin. I'm here with your Ryan today. So your Ryan, how do you feel about the school year coming to an end? Well the school coming to an end I feel pretty good. And um what was your favorite part about this year? My favorite part of this year is uh catching up all my credits, everything, get everything on track. Alright, well thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm here with Tanya Quesadilla. <laughs> How do you feel about the school year coming to an end? Uh, mixed feelings, sadness, but excitement at the same time. What was your favorite part about this year? Uh, my favorite part was a Boundary Waters trip, being able to hang out with some favorite teachers and meeting new students that I don't really talk to. Uh, what will you miss the most about this school? Um... I think it's mainly just the people that I've met and the experiences that I've been able to have here. Alright, well, thank you. No, thank you, Alex Tobinovar. I'm here with Lydia Armstrong, and I have a few questions for you. 
How do you feel about the school year coming to an end? Um, I'm excited for the warm weather, but um, I'm gonna miss my senior friends. Oh yep, yeah, of course, of course. And what was your favorite part about this exact school year? Um, I liked in the beginning the fire pit we did. Uh huh. And we put the notes in the fire that we wanted to put in the past. Oh yep. Yeah. That's fun. That's that's amazing. Thank you for your time, Armstrong. Have a good one. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm here with Grace and ask a couple questions. How do you feel about the school year coming to an end? I'm actually really excited because who isn't ready for summer? I'm still going to be here credit recovery though, but pretty glad. Bad. What was your favorite part about this year? I think just transferring here from a mainstream school. You get more help with stuff and then you just make new friends. Well, thanks for your time. No problem. I'm here with my ninja, Bianca. And uh, I got a few questions for you. How do you feel about the school year coming to an end so quickly? I'm excited to go out and travel this summer and just go out and have fun. And what would be your favorite part about this year? I got my license this year, which was pretty exciting. I was pretty excited. I've been waiting forever, so. Oh, well, thank you <laughs> very much. Uh, Hi, I'm here with Ismael, and I'm going to ask a couple questions. So, how do you feel about the school year coming to an end? Uh, it's gonna be like, I like it because I'm gonna be, you know, having fun, you know, chilling, yeah. and yeah. But the sad thing is, like I said, bye to all my friends for like a while. But yeah. Uh, what was the most favorite part about this year? I say making new friends and meeting new people, and the teachers are really nice here. I think some of the teachers, I like them. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> This year has been a pretty good one, and I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be even better. Stay in tune. Thanks for watching. A lot of things happened this year, good and bad, but we all made it through. I've been definitely through a lot. I'm going to miss the Golden Hill and the LLC family, but I'm super excited to finally be graduating. I hope everyone had a great year. Thanks for tuning in to this semester. Class of 2016, I'll see you next year. Well, this is C103 News. We're signing off for the year.